Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make an Instagram reel the really, really simple way if you have Final Cut Pro X, which is what I use for everything. And once you buy it, you own it. Um, so I'm over here on my timeline and this is the clip that I'm gonna use. I want this chicken and some of this drone footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all, hold Command C to copy. We're gonna go up to File, New Project, and we're gonna change the size to 1080 by 1920, and we're gonna set the frame rate to 2997. And this is gonna give us our vertical plate, which is what Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts use. Once our clip loads, we can see here that we've got black bars on the top and the bottom, which I like to get rid of um, I just reset the scale here so you could see while I zoom in. Um, but we're gonna select scale and we're gonna scale this up just until those black bars are gone. Now, once I'm in the air, we can see that the, um, the GoPro footage has major black bars here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up. And I know that 316 is actually the percentage that fits this perfectly, but just to show you, you can play around with it as much or as little as you like. So our clip looks good. But this is a little too much at the head of the chicken. So I kind of want to clip this. I'm going to show you how to do that right now by selecting the blade tool, which you can hit with B. So once we have our blade tool, we also want to make sure that we have snapping turned on, which is over here on the right side. And that just makes everything magnetic and it feels a lot better. So we're going to click where we want to split the clip. And now we can actually select this clip at the head and delete it. And you can do that by hitting the delete key. And I'm also going to clean up this audio at the bottom because I'm not going to use it. And now we've got a shorter clip that goes right into our drone footage. And I'm just gonna listen to the sound of the drone a little bit on my end, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna pick some music to go with this. So we might notice that these are hard cuts between the clips where we just go from one shot to the next. And I wanna add a transition so over here on the right side, it looks like the like a sideways hourglass. We're going to select a transition. Cross dissolve is great because it's simple and I use it for everything. And you can just go ahead and drop that between the two clips. And make sure that you go ahead to render all. We want to render everything here so that we could actually preview the transition. Because if you don't do that, I find that Final Cut will start skipping around on the frames. Um, that might be because I'm on an older machine to begin with, but this just makes everything nice and smooth by rendering the footage. We can see here at the top bar, we lost those dotted lines on the timeline. So now I should be able to watch this clip through. I've got a beautiful transition. I'm gonna go ahead and add cross dissolve to the rest of these clips here. Now to zoom in on the timeline, you can hold command and tap the minus key or the plus key. And if you want to zoom in and zoom out on the footage itself, you can do that on the upper right corner where you can select the percentage. I usually just leave it at fit because it's just easier and it maximizes the space. So a little text goes a long way. And if we want to add some to our clip, we're going to go up to edit and down here at connect title basic title is going to give us our text, which you can trim, you can chop it up and copy and paste it as many times as you'd like. Um, I'm going to go ahead here and just change the text to something of test related. Hi, this is a test. And you can actually change the font, uh, vertical alignment, you can italicize it, bold it, whatever you want. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just show you, you can do an outline, glow, you can even do a drop shadow. And I'm gonna turn up the opacity and a little blur and add a little distance to this to really make it pop. And now we've got our clip with text. So on the upper right corner, when we're ready to export this, we're gonna hit the share button, export file. And that's gonna give us our full res export as a .mov. I wanna make sure that we're doing audio and video, even though there's no audio on this. Um, it's gonna give us an H.264 file. And I'm gonna name this IG test and click save. And over here on the upper left, we see that the file is now exporting and that's how you make an Instagram reel. If you stuck around this long, thank you. I'll catch you guys on the next one.